good morning everybody what's happening y'all so um wendy here of course and i just want to give you guys an update i haven't been able to upload any videos because my computer straight died and my phone is trying to do the same thing my son uses roblox on my computer and every time he gets on that site like something totally goes wrong and no matter how many times i tell him not to do it he does it anyway and every time i get on my phone and i let him use my phone to watch youtube i open a browser and roblox is on there so like he has a roblox obsession i don't know if you have any kids like that or if you're like that but put the roblox away but it's been totally killing my phone and my computer is like i have this death screen on there so now my phone is like freezing and stuff so i don't even know See, it just froze like five seconds and start recording and then jump. So like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try to make it through this thing. Just a little life update. Other than Roblox, Joshua has joined the chorus in school. He's um, He was struggling a little bit in one of his classes. Well, not a little bit, a lot of it and we decided it would be better for him to switch out of the class even though he wanted to take it really badly but i was like it was just way too stressful on everybody considering all the things that he's dealing with right now which you don't know about but he's dealing with a lot so we decided to put him try to get him in chorus so the goddess counselor advocated for him and he's in chorus and he's very excited about a concert that they have coming up next month and i'm excited about that as well because he's never really done anything like during school like school activities or anything i put him in sports when he was younger but he's never done anything like school related so we're excited about that um what else my tooth my husband got his tooth pulled and it was a wisdom tooth so he has to get he has all four of them that he has to get rid of actually so we're going to be dealing with that for a little while um and after he did all his medication and stuff for that he wanted to like clean his system out so i was making him some green smoothies to try to get him right again and i'm still drinking because um at first i was like it's kind of Mm, it was tolerable, but now it like really tastes good to me because they're really simple and really green, if you can see. So, so a lot of green goodness in there. And with that, I have decided to like go just dive right into like a plant-based diet. Mighty Mouse is gonna have a plant-based diet right now. He's still on breast milk and some baby food which is just fruits and vegetables and oats and oatmeal and stuff like that. You know how like they try to transition them to like pureed meats and stuff? I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um when Joshua was this age he was mostly plant based. Like my parent my mom didn't really approve of it and you know people always had something to say like you can't make him eat what you're eating and stuff like that. But my thought was they made us eat what they were eating. So yeah, I mean, it goes both ways. Like, if they made us eat what they were eating, why can't I make my kids eat what I'm eating, you know? So they're like, you can't make your kids eat like you, blah, 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 blah. But I know for a fact, like, when I eat this way, Mighty Mouse's eczema clears up. Like, his what? cheeks are all cute again. Like, what time he didn't even look like himself. And then when I did the Daniel Fast in January and finished out for January, his skin, like, cleared up totally. And then when I like went and ate some cheese and stuff, like when I tried to eat meat again, it was kind of gross. But so I haven't really done that. But when I did go to eat meat and not meat, but cheese, and then I started like having a lot of sugar and stuff again, like his skin just went all crazy again. So I'm just going to do that. Is they like some people say your diet doesn't really correlate with nursing and stuff like that but um yes it does and you don't have to tell me that like i can it like the proof is there like when i eat better when i eat non-dairy it's like i don't drink milk anyways we all drink nut milk so i don't drink milk anyways but 
I had like a cheese thing going on, but I found some ways around it, which I had done in the past. Like I was using like nutritional yeast and stuff like that when um, Joshua was younger and I was eating uh, more plant-based before I got married and stuff like that, but I'm married to a meat eater. So, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have Joshua doing more plants again like he used to because his digestion is like totally shot. Like he started, after I got married and we moved here, he started eating more meat too because my husband is a meat eater and I think he, he kind of looks up to him so he kind of wants to do what he's doing a lot of times so he'll like eat these he'll eat stuff like that I don't eat like I don't eat steaks and pork chops I never really eat that stuff anyways so um he'll eat it and I cook it for my husband because my husband likes it and I'm married to him and my housewife and that's just it's what I do I cook for him you know what I mean so I cook it for him but um, I don't see why Joshua has to eat it if it's like affecting his body that way he has like no energy and stuff like that and I started out making his lunch to take to school and then he's like no I want to eat lunch at school so I don't really know what he's eating his diet is like bad because y'all I know his diet is bad because I can you know the toots are real up in here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the toots are real. And yeah, there's a difference between a cabbage eater's toots and a pork chop eater's toots. Okay, I'll just I'll just say that. It's like my mouth. He smells like being in collard greens all the time. That's how he smells. So <laughs> you true. And that's how he smells. Wait, ain't that right? Ain't that how you smell when you eat it? Yes, uh, that's TMI, but I'm just telling y'all the real. Other than that, let's see. So my eldest sister, and my twin brother, and my nephew a few days ago, I went up to the hospital for a meeting for my sister who will, who is uh, still getting better and better. Right now, she just had a feed. She has a feeding tube in. She doesn't have like respirators and oxygen on her, any of that. Just a feeding tube because she's not eating. She's not eating well. And soon she'll move floors in the hospital to um, start intensive therapy right now. She's out of the ICU and she's like out of the next step of the ICU. And she's on, now on the floor with the transplant surgeons until um, they feel like she's well enough to go to intensive therapy, which will be the next step. And then after intensive therapy, she will be able to go home. So we're all praying for that. Um, Actually, a lot of things we got to pray for right now. Uh, one of my uncles was diagnosed with cancer. And and my family is pretty common because I have a really big family. So, like, I have breast cancer. My father died of cancer. His Now his brother has cancer. Um, my grandma and my granddaddy on my daddy's side both died of cancer. And my granddaddy's on my, my granddaddy on my mom's side died of cancer. So, um, it's, it's there, it's really there, and heart disease is also in my family, and high blood pressure, and stuff like that. Um, my goal with my diet, originally I became vegetarian like a few years back, but I, I stopped. I was vegetarian because I wanted to do my best to like keep cancer at bay. Because I had it and I've been through that stuff and I didn't want it again. So I went vegetarian for like three and a half years. But a few years ago, even just a few years ago, it was hard to do that where I was living at and just in the community itself. Because like they didn't really understand that type of thing and didn't approve of it. It was like no support. Oh. I'm also <laughs> trying to flip off the bed again. Yes, he flipped off the bed the other day, like head first. But now he's a little bit more careful, okay? So, um, yeah, that's why I originally went vegetarian the first time. This time I want to do more than vegetarian because I was vegetarian, but I, I guess not, not even vegetarian now. I know the difference. It's like uh, octo-lacto-vegetarian or something like that. And it's like you still do some dairy and eggs. So I don't want to do uh, dairy and eggs this time. So, so I'm just going to call it plant-based because I'm not going to say vegan because veganism is bigger than your diet. 
So I'm not going to do that. I'll just say plant-based. Um, anyways. Uh, what else has been going on? Also praying for another family member. My cousin and my aunt. My One of my uncles just died. He had a, a procedure and something went really... Yeah, yeah. Something went wrong, not with the procedure, but after he got home, something went wrong, and I'm not really sure what happened, but he passed away the other day, so we'll keep um, them in my, in, in my prayers, too, my cousins and my aunt, you know, so she just lost a husband, so that's sad, sad things, um, other than that, that's pretty much all that's been going on. Everything else has been pretty normal. Started doing yoga again, which felt great. My name is nine and a half months old, and I'm still nursing. Thank you. Even though I only nurse off one breast now. So, yeah. Uh, he's still nursing. Mm, what else? Joshua's turning 13 on Monday. Today's Friday. He gets out early today. But Monday, he'll be. 13. He's the big 13. He's a teenager. He's not a baby anymore. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm going to do. Boy, it's growing up. He's going to be grown in a minute. <laughs> you know? But that's pretty much all that's going on right now. Other than trying to fix my blown up computer and stuff. Hopefully, we'll be getting some new phones soon. Because Joshua needs a phone. He doesn't have one. Um, He needs one. He'll be 13. So, I feel like He's ready. Some people will give their kids phones that can call people and stuff like that when they're like three nowadays, but I guess I'm kind of old school <laughs> in that way, but he's going to get a phone. He had he had one that he just used for like Wi-Fi playing games and stuff like that. It was like totally out of date and all that, but yeah, hopefully we're going to get him a phone soon. And he's also going to do a detox this weekend. So, we're all ready for that. Aren't we, Lady Mouse? Are we? Anyways, like and subscribe for more updates. And to check out Mighty Mouse and his ginormous toes. And the right, baby. All right. Bye.